Hey guys, a lot of you guys have been asking for something for extra credit and uh, for some of the quizzes or tests that you've taken in my classes. So uh, I wanted to come up with something that could maybe take a little while, keep you occupied during this time, which so many of us are getting a little bored, not having anything to do. So uh, I was thinking um, uh, I can show you how to juggle. Okay, so uh, if you can figure, if you watch the videos, figure out how to juggle, send me a video and I'll add a plus 10 on any test or quiz that you had. Okay, if, if, you have, if I have you for multiple classes, I'll count it for all the classes, okay? Um, so it shouldn't take too long. I mean, it takes a little while to get a good hang of it, <clears throat> but, uh, but it's not like real difficult. To learn how to juggle but here's how you start okay <clears throat> so I'm gonna teach it to you from the beginning this is how I first learned how to juggle is you just start with two okay because uh, when you're juggling okay um, the hardest part about juggling is the fact that you throw a ball too far to the right or something like you'll be juggling and you'll toss it like that and you you can't get it and then you lose you lose everything so what you got to do is you just got to start with two and you just practice throwing one up in the air and then throwing the other and catching it. Yeah? So just do that. And then the goal here is for your hands to not have to move very much. Like what you're going to see that you're going to do at the beginning is you're going to throw one too far or something and you're going to be off balance. You'll know that you're good at the two when you can just continuously do that. And notice how I'm throwing about the same height every time, and they're landing where my hands originally were. So I'm not having to move around and accommodate to me throwing them too far or anything. So that's the first goal. You've got to master the two, uh, the two uh, oranges in my case. You can juggle whatever you want, yeah? Um, uh, and it's just throwing them so you can catch them, and they go about the same height every time and they land to where your hands are every time, okay? And then after you got that, then comes the addition of the third ball, which is probably gonna be the part where most people uh, start having some problems, okay? So the addition of the third ball, ball is you just, you just gotta, maybe you even wanna practice with three in your hands still doing that two thing that you were doing, okay? Because uh, you're gonna have to be able to catch it in a, Catch the balls in one hand, yeah? Okay, but the third one, really the trick is just, just throw it and it will start working, okay? You do the two things like you were doing and then just throw that other one in there. So just don't stop, yeah? So it's just going and not stopping. And notice how they're all going about the same height and they're all landing where my hands are without me having to really move my hands from the original spot. If you start throwing all weird, like with different amounts of force, then you start having to reach for them, and that's where uh, you're gonna end up dropping one, and then the whole thing goes haywire, okay? Um, uh, maybe next week, uh, if enough people participate in this one, I can show you guys how to do the uh, two in one hand, yeah? And then uh, maybe we can, start getting a little more fancy and we can start switching between them or something. And uh, you, can, you can be a master juggler, yes? But uh, right now, just figure out how to uh, toss the three around and uh, send me a video or something. If you can't figure it out, send me a video of the two, yeah? You practicing with the two. Because practice, some people are gonna get it quicker than others, okay? So uh, give it a try. I hope you have some fun, uh, and I hope it keeps you occupied. Enjoy. See ya.